Normal enemies are deadlier. Ooh. The first ascension was kind of a softball because it gives more relics. This is a tough one. No another ironclad? I also want to play another ironclad. Push ascension up. Let's do ascension too. I actually don't really like watcher. Let's play more ironclad. Let's transform two cards. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's go, dude. We got offering and flame barrier. What is this? Gain 12 block whenever you attack this turn. Deal four damage back. All right, not bad, not bad. Six start. We better not ruin this. Where are the most shops? Oh, we we want to go to Mr. Elito, yeah? But Elito have no shop? No shops at all. Oh, we can go via here. Here, we go here, we go here, we go here, we go here. We go here, we go here. How good is this game, Grub? I mean, it's it's amazing. Awful, awful, awful game. I just took six damage for no reason. Oops. It's okay, we'll gain all the life back in the next... Uh, gain eight block, draw a card, choose an attacker power card. Add a copy of that card into your hand. Draw one card. Put a card from your hand. Oh, this is Warcry again. It's Warcry. This is... Um, this is really good. Eight plus nine is 15. He's 20. 15. Block, block, block. No more free damage. Nice. Of course, this is a replayable card. Two, one. I can just kill him. <laughs> Can't you go block before you play the card but lose your health? No, lose health is not the same as deal damage. Most card games losing health, even Dota losing health is different than uh, taking damage. It's to circumvent that very thinking. Spark Ray is minus one card in hand, it's not so good. Oh yeah. Yeah, until you upgrade it, then it becomes equal again. And it gives you choice. <clears throat> Flame Barrier feels clunky if I get too many, I'll get shrug it off. No, I've, I've not seen it yet, Lupo1. <clears throat> He's gonna attack me. That's all the block we need. If I offering now, do I save health? I'm gonna get six damage, which will be nine. I just need one more damage. Let's say I have 40% chance of finishing. Actually, I could do one test with Warcry. Oh shit, he has armor. Oh, damn. 
Oh, we can still block everything. Okay. Good. Clean. Pommel strike. In flame. Am I in flaming? I feel like in flame is decent. Pommel strike is also nice. Yeah, you like you guys like pommel? Okay, we'll go pommel strike. In flame is slow. Remove a card from your deck, transform a card, upgrade a card. I'm thinking transform. Transform another strike. Rage. Hmm. Well, it's not the best. It's not the worst. Oh, remove another card. Now we'll remove a defend. We're getting a tight deck. Elite. Yeah, we have almost no attacks. <laughs> We've got flame barrier. Huh? Bash is useless. We want to discard it. We want Flame Barrier next turn. Okay, good. Ah. Uh, oh, we just put. We put Bash there. Okay. Rage seems smart now. I think we need to do an offering. Thank you for the sub, Limbala. Appreciate it. Flame barrier. We now have 15 block. He's attacking with 18. We don't want to draw a card because we don't want to ruin anything and we don't need the block. Oh, damn it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Eight armor. Not too bad, not too bad. Dude, we're getting very dazed. Luckily, they're ethereal. I need to make an estimate which one will die first. I guess I'll just attack the lower one. Shrug it off. Pommel strike. And I'm not going to block for one. Really? Oh my god. Jesus. These bastards. I don't have enough attacks. No fire breathing this time, yeah. So unlucky. <laughs> okay. Whenever you add an attack, upgrade it. Oh, nice. Berserk. Gain vulnerable, gain mana. At the moment, mana is not what we need the most, but it is probably the best card here. And uh, Shockwave. Yeah, I didn't get any attacks. Molten Egg on floor 6 is very pog. Yeah, Shockwave is good. Is it good? 
Apply three weak and vulnerable, but I don't have any attacks. Shockwave's great. How does it upgrade? Five weak and... Okay, let's try it. I've never tried it. We'll try it. Uh, remove card. Yeah. And maybe ah, even ah. shop. There's fire breathing again. We have a whirlwind. Upgraded whirlwind. Pretty neat. Mm, block. What what would you rate the game from one to ten? Among all games or among card games? Cleave is better than whirlwind. Yeah, it's more mana efficient, less space efficient, right? I'm glad to see chat disagrees with each other. Something Cleave is better, something Whirlwind is better. I could upgrade Shockwave. No, 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 this is removing. <laughs> remove Shockwave. Uh, we could remove Defend. Whirlwind has ways to make it stronger. Yeah, it can, it can, uh, Cleave is always 11, yeah. Nice game, too expensive though. Uh, let's say that on a card game level, uh, I would say Slate Aspire is, um, a 9 out of 10. And on a, um, overall game, probably, uh, 8. It's like, oh my god, only an 8. Yeah, I think it's amazing. It's an 8. Like, of course, I love it very much right now. Defend, because you have two other. Yeah, I'll remove it. Defend. <laughs> Delete Bash. Yeah, Bash sucks too. I don't know any better card game. Uh, well, you know, it depends on the philosophy of. Uh... It depends on your philosophy of would you ever give a 10. I'm thinking Cleave might help me, since I don't have a lot of attacks, and it's obviously better than normal attacks. I've seen several people say the, the game is too expensive for 25. But, yeah, I guess I don't argue too much with it, because uh, I may have a different perspective on it. If you think so, that that's valid, then. Yeah. Twenty-five is my entire monthly saving if I try really hard. Wow, that must be tough to uh, need to live so tight. Sci-fi. I think this is nice but um if i do this i only take four damage but if i take offering i take six damage and i am going to draw two blocks next turn so i'm gonna go shockwave and take four damage and hope that i don't need to cast offering that's my hope and that I take no more damage than this for. That's eight. I think I got this game on... on I think I got this game on sale. Do, do I have any attack cards in my hand? In my deck? <laughs> that deck is not so in order yeah i know i was just assuming i was gonna draw about that many you put that card on top side when you drew it no no did i 
No, I don't think that's... With Whirlwind, they'd be dead now? Yeah. But isn't he dead still? He could be... They could be dead now. Yeah, they're dead. Searing blow can be upgraded any number of times. <sighs> oh, this is a this is a choice. It's it's blow, anger, or skip. I feel like anger might actually make sense here. Searing is a meme. To be honest, I hated it la uh, last time. I'm gonna do anger. I have no attacks. Now I have all the attacks I need. Searing just sucks way too many upgrades. Well, there are no shops right now. Except if any of the question marks are shops. So, Mall Bank is gonna earn me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight, nine. Maybe it's gonna earn me like 118 gold. 118 gold. Well, it's certainly better than the key now. Not much of a choice. So here we can get one key or we can upgrade. I would like an upgrade. Shockwave becomes 555. This is not... Oh! Pommel Strike is kind of good. No, no, no. We don't need to rest, right? Wait, why are you guys saying rest? I have 43 health. It's not like I'm 20 or something. But it is burning elite. Alright, fine. The voice of reason triumphs once again. I got bullied into resting. What can you do? Is there anything I'm waiting for? I would want a shockwave. Upgraded shockwave would have been nuts here. Yeah. I also wanted to start with Bash, but what can I do? It's gonna wake up anyway. Might as well hit him for one damage. Oh yeah, I could have angered once. This would this deck would be amazing if you had any strength. Yeah. Good. We have Metallicize. That actually might save me a lot of health. Yeah, I'll drink it. He's still weak. Shockwave has exhaust. We can vulnerable him. Offering rage. We may not have to draw. We may not have to make it use any block. Because we're going to have six block plus rage. Open with bash. Doesn't really matter. He's already vulnerable. Draw a card. Top deck. Shrug it off. I didn't use rage. Stupid. My bad. Draw a card. There's anger. Top deck, um, defend, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, I should have done... Well, it's not like I knew I'm going to get defend. Well, then I'll just top deck this. I know, Bash was an attack, I lost the armor there. 
We have weakened dexterity. Oh, that's fine. He's dead, right? Okay, not the worst, not the worst. Didn't need to rest, by the way. <laughs> Did not need to rest. Uh, shall I get the key now? I do want to get the triple key. Yeah, let's get it. Because it's not a choice. <laughs> no, I'm out. I'm out. Uh, I like impervious. Could have skipped it, just left it there. This is 40 blocks. Impervious is good, but do I get it when I need it? I don't have enough attack cards to make this card sensible. And Entrench just doesn't seem good in general. I'll take Impervious. You come across a dead adventurer. Found some gold. 30 gold only? I want more. Oh, bastard, you bastard. Shockwave. Warcry. Shockwave strike. That's all we need. That's all we need to do. He's weak or not? He is weak. We could weaken him more. He's gonna attack for four. But he gets angry whenever I play a skill. So let's not. Well, I could do offering. Cleave, rage, bash. But, oh, he's not vulnerable yet. No, he is, he is. Do I offering this turn? He becomes mad. If I pommel strike... It's three skills. I think we nuke him before he gets dangerous. That feels like the right call. Now he is gonna attack for six and now for seven. We blocked all of it. There's my rage. That's that's the order you wanna see, but it wouldn't have mattered. Either rage or defend would be the same effect. Anger, strike, flame barrier. I take damage, but he also dies. I took 10 damage. Not too bad. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. We now have extreme incentive to get extra mana. This is too slow. Havoc. Play the top card of your draw pile and exhaust it. I don't understand why this is good. Some of y'all said it's... Said it's good. I don't get it. Twin Strike is decent. Upgrade from Strike for sure. So this becomes four strength and this. I still don't get what this even does. Play the top card of your draw power exhausted. Awful. Unless you know what it is. It's for an exhaust deck. Yeah. Oh, it's like uh, Black Magic in Magic the Gathering. Where you put something in the graveyard? Or what? Oh, and smaller deck, yeah. If you have a high quality deck. You put something in the graveyard and then you dredge it up and summon it sometimes. But I'm thinking Twin Strike here. Spot Weakness is also not bad with Anger. Alright, let's do Spot Weakness. Elite. Let's see, two additional cards, rest and, dr and add a card, gain gold. <sighs> we could get a relic. Relic, rest or upgrade. Do I want to upgrade anything? Shockwave upgrade would be huge and so would anger upgrade. Offering upgrade, anger's already upgrade. Shockwave, offering, spot weakness. 
upgrade twice. Yeah. We uh, open with either offering or shockwave. I'm thinking shockwave helps for the boss. Well, we'll do both. We'll do shockwave first. I always upgrade pommel strike first, draw us win. Mm. Then we'll do pommel next then. Question mark or elite? Uh, I don't want to run the risk it's a shop, or do I? I could throw away another, another block or strike. Let's go for the elite. How did you know the elite is the three boys? You've already done the other two. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, Shockwave doesn't do anything here. It's not that you did the other two. Oh! Two instances. I don't want bash I may want to have defend next turn. Okay. 18 damage coming up. We could weaken one of them. How does this get better? Flame barrier. 16 blocks, 6 damage back. Could go Blessing of the Forge. Mm, how many can I kill? I could kill... 13... 9... 22, not him. Unless I upgrade, then yes. And the card draw... Hmm... Be offering could be impervious you have one you have lethal for left yes and then i could flame barrier or shrug it off with spot weakness feels better Six HP to kill him now. Probably. I think that's worth it. Because I... Well, I do have Impervious. It may not be worth it, actually. I think I could live without taking any more damage. They're both dead. Yeah. Okay. Spot weakness was nice. What's this? While your HP is. Oh my god! This is perfect for me. Red skull. Cool. Three strength while you're low health. That's amazing. Two dexterity is the worst, so I'm not gonna take it. In flame is slow whenever you lose HP from a card. I don't have enough of that. You cannot. You draw three cards, but you cannot draw additional ones. Battle trance. How does this get better? Four cards. Do I need card draw? Inflame is not slow. Of course, inflame is slow. You can either do 
like 6 to 12 damage with a single card or you make other cards do 2 more damage. I don't have any damage multiplication, so depending on your interpretation of what slow is, it's slow. It's less damage on turn 1. It's probably less damage on turn 2. It might start representing more damage on tier uh, on turn 3 in my deck. So in flame is slow in that it doesn't do anything on turn one or two but it might do something on turn three uh, already and on turn four it's definitely better by then it synergizes with your power relics while low additional strength get extra cards whenever you add an attack upgrade it this does not synergize not just your power relics power relics in general yeah I uh, I don't see it. Uh, yeah, I'll play Retold non-slow. I think Trance or Skip. How good is draw cards for me? I don't have enough mana yet for draw cards to be really very good. But it's better than Warcry. Oh, and it's good with Anger. I think I have three potions, so I can beat the boss without healing. We can upgrade Pommel Strike, card draw, or uh, Anger, as Anger is kind of a key card. No, it's already maxed, never mind. One extra strength here, 10 block. Um, not those, not those. Wait, what boss are we going to? What's this? Looks like a mushroom. Is this... Is this a mushroom man that has two minions? 158 health. Oh, it's a slime. Slime is easy, no? I think slime is easy. Last run you said you would heal. Well, yesterday you said tomorrow. No, but I, I don't think I needed with three potions. That was different. I was like 20 life. Here we have Red Skull. Uh, rage upgrade. Honestly, I don't know. Rage doesn't feel that important to me. Pommel Strike can be nice. 10 damage, 2 cards. That's a great upgrade. The most valuable card in my deck is actually Anger, but I already have it. Cleave, Anger, Shockwave. Mm, I think Anger is the most valuable card. Flame Barrier. I don't know. It's not that good for the boss. I can always get it later. Offering is good to r do a burst run. But you get more cards, but not more mana. Yeah, more more card draw is always good. It's options. Yeah. Okay, let's take offering. This card never led me astray. I do have battle trance now. We want to open with bash. is full. What did I lose? Didn't get bash. Okay. Uh, we could get bash via battle trance. But we would have to waste some cards. Rage. Potion. Oh, the upgrade. Hmm, we could upgrade all this. Yeah. Probably safe to do it now, now that, now that we're full. There's Bash. Anger. 
What else have we got? Shockwave. Might as well. Could do Shockwave now. Weak and vulnerable forever. What do I want next turn? He's still not gonna attack. Oh, not forever, because he splits. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I should have... I could have saved... Okay, okay, okay. I could have saved it maybe for next turn. He's about to attack, so we have to hit him now. Should have liked to hit him harder. Could draw another rage. Okay. Okay. Now we might want to block. No, we have impervious. Could start with a battle trance. He's gonna attack for 18 unless we split him. We have anger, rage, 8, 12, that's 20. And then strike. No point not to cast rage. Almost strike. Only the two small ones are attacking, but they need to be killed. Uh, I could, I could do 14 damage. It's not enough. If we tank there, we get skull value. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been enough to get it with spot weakness. Oh, I have cleave. 15 damage Gonna be hit a bit here It hurts But we're okay Let's leave again Is he dead? Yeah Okay, not too bad, not too bad Ooh, feed Ooh that's not too bad. First floor conquered. And we get a uh, upgraded feed. Perfect. It does have exhaust. But that's bonus max health. It could be nice. Helps for red skull. Alright. Cool. Choose a relic. Gain mana at the start of your turn. Future card rewards have two less cards to choose from. I need mana. And I may just not pick up any cards. I might just get busted crown. Gain mana, but shuffle wounds. Not too bad if I have enough card draw, which I kind of do. Whenever you lose HP, draw a card. I need mana. I'll get Mark of Pain. We got two wounds. And the wounds can be removed, right? Wait, right? Okay, no. Oh, they can only be exhausted. But I don't have any exhaust. Okay, what do we still need? We still need a Gigaboss? No, we still need a chest. Wait, there are no more chests. Oh, there are. We need a chest for a key. Right? A chest for a key and um, a, a, a campfire. Oh, no, don't today, Fiber. 
The bonfire key. There's two bonfires here. There's only one here. We go left. Ooh. I must feed. He has artifacts, so we don't want... I don't think I want battle trance. Oh, actually, there's no reason not to, huh? That doesn't do anything. Eleven damage, six sixty health. We could remove all of his artifacts this turn. But is it worth it? Perhaps yes. weakness yeah I can also use a potion uh, that's exhaust but he's not summoning minions anyway Feed is back. Impervious. 22 block. He's about to do 22 damage. So Impervious protects us sufficiently. Open up with Rage regardless. Almost strike. Cleave, shrug it off. I only have three armor. I need Impervious. Or could I have finished him? He has 32 life. No, not enough. Now we have to wait for feed. Dude, Battle Trance is so good, it keeps coming back. Actually such a sick card. Because the offering doesn't come back. So you keep the speed in your rotation. It's insane. There we go. One trance is good, yeah. Four, not so much. What do you guys think about another anger? Does that dilute my deck too much? I feel like it might. Inflame could be nice. I wouldn't take another to flood your deck. Seeing red is also nice, but I already have four mana. Skip, really? You think my deck is complete? You think my offensive deck is complete? It doesn't feel that good. No, but these cards don't do anything. Seeing red, then buy a good old big card. Hmm. Okay, let's get seeing red. Question mark. Unplayable innate. Right. Feliz Jabulin Familia. Well, we can remove it. Feliz Jabulin Familia. What do we get? Whenever you add a power card upgraded. Okay, cool. Rupture. Whenever you lose HP from card, gain two strength. No. Amazing. Is it really? Hey, all the eggs are canning. Oh, every egg. Every egg is one type of insta upgrade. So if you have frozen egg, molten egg, and another kind of egg, then everything is always maxed. Let's go. Um, rupture is not for us. 
Draw two cards, put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Exhaust. Oh, it's a bit like Warcry. It's actually exactly like Warcry, except it's cheap and uh, unupgraded gives you two. It's better. Bludgeon is great with seeing red and all your vulnerable. Isn't Fiendfire like 120 damage? Yeah, but it's only on a single target. But it's better than Bludgeon for sure. I don't have any strength yet. Oh no, I do. I have Spot Weakness. And it repeats. What's this? Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply to vulnerable. Every six turns, gain one intangible. Ah, gain the tungsten rot every six turns. Upon pickup, raise your max HP by 10. <laughs> all right, cool. So uh, urn actually reduces all damage taken and HP loss to one every six turns. You could actually plan this out. If you're really pro, you could plan this out so that, let's say if you know that a boss is gonna hit on turn three really hard, then you could make sure that to plan the penultimate fight before the boss so that your urn triggers at the right time. That would be so sick. I want fiend fire though. And if I get fiend fire, I can't get incense burner anymore. Or urn, as you guys call it. Well, there's urn and burn. And that's why it's a must. I want fiend fire. Why fiend fire? Because I'm likely to do like 80 damage with it. If I put as much mental effort into shopping as Grubby does in game, I would not have bought a Kia. <laughs> what would you have got? Explain Fiend Fire thought process. Uh, I gotta draw a bunch of cards with uh, Pummel and Rage, uh, not Rage, an Offering, and I'm gonna cast only half of it, or I'm gonna choose to do certain block exhausts or block discards instead of using so i am l likely to get like six to eight cards aren't ah. kias good yeah i thought kias were pretty good i gotta take fiend fire that means i can't get earned uh, i'm not gonna get the rest could do bludgeon three mana I did just pick up uh, Seeing Red, but Seeing Red... Uh, seeing Red needs to be upgraded so bad. No offering? What's offering? Oh, another offering? Yeah, I could do another offering. But I... No, I'm not gonna get another offering. I have enough card draw. I've got, uh, I mean, off to be fair, Offering is better in a way than Battletrons, but Battletrons keeps coming back. It's Bludgeon or nothing. You would pick up 10 HP max? What? Why? For Red Skull? I would think thinking ahead. Hmm. Hmm. This is 257 gold. It's meant to be. <laughs> Wait, let me see. I could have a next shop next turn, you know, at question mark. And then I can't remove a card. Mind Blast. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. Oh. That's funny. 
Have you guys ever made a 50 card deck? You don't get shop after shop, hard coded. Only if question mark into shop. Oh! Yes, and then I died. 65 card deck just once. <laughs> Most I ever got was 67. Is there an achievement for it? Bludgeon's not good with feed. Wait, I have feed? When's the last time I saw feed? Huh? Did I just pick this up? Oh, wait, I just picked this up. All right. You know what? If we're not sure, let's just skip. I just picked that up. Huh? I'm not gonna lose all of my gold. Might as well take the pair then. If I knew this was gonna happen, I would take the pair. Uh, whenever you are attacked. So he can take eight damage from this and I take none. So I could do flame barrier. Uh, we start with offering. What are they gonna do? What are you guys up to? I kind of like my turn one, but no, it's not sufficient. I mean, I could start with Warcry. Pommel Strike, okay. Put it, put the Impervious away in case they attack harder next turn. So what I could do is Pommel Strike, Flame Barrier, and Strike. And uh, that is 18, 27 damage. I like that. Yeah, I've never faced these guys before. But they look like they're up to no good. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. I think I don't cast Offering yet. Is there ever a reason not to cast it yet? I guess I have an ideal turn, that's why. Oh fuck. <laughs> Stupid. Let's kill Romeo. Grab him, bear. Dexterity wears down. Now they're all attacking. Oh my god! Where's my big armor? Impervious. Misplayed. Dude, here's Battle Trance. Uh, shrug it off first. Uh, Dexterity potion first. Shrug it off. There's Fiend Fire. That's uh, 40 damage. Oh, it's exhaust your hand. It's really a late game card, huh? You lose your entire hand. Okay, we're gonna get uh, Battle Trance. Maybe we pick up a Rage. There's the Rage. Could do a Shockwave. Weak and vulnerable. I don't have any armor. I could go with Seeing Red. One, two three four mana seeing red helps me use it all seeing red shockwave cleave anger and strike nine twelve okay doesn't look that hard finally um, we could do spot weakness, bash, and feed. Okay, bravo. Red mask? Oh my god! That's nice. What? Red mask, weak to all. Sword boomerang. Carnage and headbutt. Put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. No. Sword boomerang. No. Okay. Why are you not getting max health from feed? Did I not? I also didn't see it go up. I did? I was 84, okay. I guess we both look too late, buddy. Uh, 
He's weakened. 10 damage only. Let's draw a card first. No, we have to bash first. Then we have to seeing red now. There's feet and there's cleave. Didn't block at all like a giga chat. Because we're going to heal six next time anyway. That's good. This is good. Oh, not again. <laughs> can, can we all collectively remind me to shrug it off first? No? Okay. Wait, is he dead? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Warcry is good either, but more than that, I'm not using it well. But feed? Oh yeah. I didn't feed, sorry. Um... I will have more campfires coming up. I don't need rest, so we smith. Because I can get the gem later, the key. Mm. That's uh, four cards. And this, zero mana. Yeah, I wanted to upgrade seeing red. I think it's going to be very helpful. Would have helped already. Finally, Pommel. Oh, yeah, I don't have it upgraded yet. Okay, let's see. With 30 block, I pretty much cover everything. But I don't have card draw? So do I just unload? Rage is dispensable. Dispensable, dispensable, dispensable. I could do... Well, if I do seeing red impervious fiend fire, that's no good. Mana block and fiend. Mana block, mana block. And faint. But then I only do 39 damage. It's not enough. Normal block. Yeah, normal block I can do. Normal block fiend. Then I kill. I think that's the best. So now it's going to do... 40, 52 damage. That's pretty cool. Okay. Not bad. Feels a bit weird exhausting that many cards, but it makes sense. There's the feed. Shockwave. What am I going to draw? Anger. Pommel Strike, Warcry, Flame Barrier. I need armor. I need armor and I've only got five. But maybe I can kill someone. They're already vulnerable, so I don't need Bash. One, two, three, four. That's 13. 13, 22. Cleave has already been amped up, hasn't it? Because it recognizes they are all hurt. Yeah. So 14 to all. 14, 22, 13. 22, 13 is um, 35. 
149. Yeah, that's good enough. I could still battle trance. There's no reason not to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. Oh. Cleave is because of my strength. Oh, yeah. Anger does more damage than strike. 16. 1622. Oops. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Shovel? You can now dig for relics at rest sites? Lol. But it's not a relic itself. It is way too late to be good. Enemy loses three strength. Exhaust. Yep, dig. No red skill though, yeah. Heavy blade. Uh, disarm or nothing? What do you guys think? It can be nice. We're still facing a couple of uh, bosses. Disarm is for all fight. Oh yeah, it's for the whole fight. All right, we'll, we'll go disarm. Dig up a relic or upgrade. I feel like a relic is worth more than an upgrade. Okay, every tenth attack is double damage. Not bad. Uh, thorns. We're gonna need to pick up the key here if we're looking to objective it. Actually, it could be. We're in Act Two. We could do it next. We can do it next. I'll take the key. Uh, more upgrades possible. We can also branch off. There's loads of upgrades on the left. Three upgrades. What would we be upgrading? And we still have a bunch of shit too. We've got uh, strikes and defense. But what would we upgrade? Palmer strike possibly. Oh, digging! Wait, it's... It's every campfire? But it's rest sites. Campfire is a rest site? Oh, it's a rest site. Oh, we dig. Alright, we dig, 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 dig. Diggity, diggity, diggity. Man. Exhaust any number of cards in your hand. Apply three weak. Gain one artifact. Apply three vulnerable. Bladed armor. Choose a card in your discard pile, return it to your hand, and cast zero. That's not good for me. Choose a card. I don't think that's good for me. What would I even bring back? I guess it's cl it's flexible. Okay. Then uh, we throw away. Elixir. Three weak, three vulnerable. Artifact, plated armor. I like artifact more. Start each combat with 10 block. <laughs> nice. Shovel. <laughs> this looks like an okay card to just unload. But it's, uh, it's half damage. Is it? Attacks deal... Actually, no. No, 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 not on these. I think we cook a nerd. 
<laughs> Use a potion for relic. I don't know what that means. I think it's better finish him and block. Everybody's laughing, everybody's happy. GL Grub. Yo, thanks, Christopher Trainer. I wish I could get my feet back again. Oh, nice! I'm back on my feet. Nice. We could go to 100 health. <clears throat> Pummel. Pummel. I only have one form of strength. I only have one form of strength. Ruins is okay. X times. We have four mana now. How did Whirlwind get better? I guess it was like five, six, or seven. Oh yeah, pen nib. Let's take it. Oh, we need to... Uh we need to get one more key, but we're in Act 2, so not yet. Kunai. <laughs> Three attacks in one turn dexterity, okay, this can happen sometimes. Wait, why is this? All oh, right, pen nib. Hey, I've ruined. Are, are they dead? If I vulnerable them first, for sure. No, actually, that's probably worse. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times sixteen. Six. Oh yeah. Oh shit! Oh, it's mana, not cards. I just combined Fiend Fire and Whirlwind. <laughs> I thought I had Fiend Wind. Sorry, my bad. I, I thought I had Fiend Wind. World Fire. Yeah, 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 I let him live. Yeah, 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 I let him live for feed. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Watch me draw feed. Uh, one, two, three. Oh. I don't need seeing red. Take one damage. Oh wait, he killed himself on thorns. Oh damn it! Ah! <laughs> wait, I don't have thorns. Wait, why did he die? Oh fuck! Flame barrier. Oh my god. Isn't it frustrating to watch me do that? 
Oh, cool. We got a Nunchaku, a Kunai, and a Shovel. Uh, I mean, and a Penip. Very. A bit, but it's alright. Alright. No, it's fun. We've all been there. Oh, I'm infuriated. Yeah, understandable. I'm sorry. I think we apply vulnerable. Twelve. We have ten armor. We're gonna heal full. So you might as well just whirlwind. Or fiend fire. It's only 75 though, that's nothing. Oh, this is the guy that when he reaches 210 health, things started changing. I don't need to block this turn. Yeah, we need our cards for this boss. I think I just whirlwind. Would I impervious here? I don't think I want to exhaust. Why would I draw cards? I need this later for when he goes past 210. I save offering for later. He's only hitting for 12. I think at 210 he uh, purges himself, so I'm not going to disarm him now. card back that would help here impervious if I had the mana the discard hand one fiend fire no I can't afford it potion makes it cost zero oh right could block a lot of armor Seems like a good turn to block. Yeah, fiend, flame barrier is not going to be 12 block. I am weak. I'm frail. 25% less. Flame barrier is only going to be 9 block. Impervious is... It's uh, like, what, 22? It's about as good a turn as any. Can't get much more value than that. Delay feed. effect on me what did you do vulnerable oh good okay we bring him as close as possible to 210 penip yeah it's penip now fiend fire would do 39 damage because of penip with offering even more i think that's lovely i wouldn't be able to use feed though it's 
whirlwind for 33 times 6. Dude. With Battletrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Battletrons makes that 10. Then he's dead. I don't get feed though. I don't need to. <laughs> I mean, I could have, I guess, since I'm 77 health. It's just too good to use it. I don't want to, like, mess up. Another fiend fire. I don't think so. No limit break, no impervious. Well, actually, impervious. It's two mana. It's kind of mad cards. Other fire. I don't think two fiend fires is good. I'll get second impervious. It's, I mean, it's a value card. Velvet Choker, no. A curse and three relics. Potentially interesting. Uh, whenever you. Another mana at the start of the turn. Oh! I like that. Cursed key. It's fantastic for cursed key. Five mana, yeah? Go with the key. Is it better to skip card than always take one? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's better to consider skipping seriously. The, when I first started playing Slay the Spire, I looked at the card, and if it was better than Strike or Defend, I took it. Now I'm thinking it has to be better than half my deck. And half of my projected deck that's coming up in the next, you know, 30 turns. All cards are better than Strike and Defend. Yeah, that's why my first deck was like 36 cards. <laughs> ah. Does he have artifacts? No. Hey. Isn't he dead? 75. Almost. It's good enough. Oh, yes! It's better than good enough. 100 health. First time I ever got 100 health. Anger. Perfected Strike. Rage. Flex. Rupture. Enlightenment. Metamorphosis. Toxic Egg, but I'm not going to add a lot of cards anymore. We could have the Egg Trifecta, which is kind of cool. 3 Egg, TH000. Reduce the cost of all cards in your hand to 1 this turn. It's not as good as you think, I think. I think it's not as good as you think. What do you think about what I think? Metamorphosis is uh, better on a smaller deck. Or bigger deck, I don't know. Gain 5 max uh -huh. HP. Toolbox. At the start of each combat, choose one of three random color discard and add it to your hand. That's pretty good. Well, I'm definitely gonna remove a card. Strike or defend? Strike, right? We could do fruit juice. Uh -huh. And we could do toolbox. Yeah. Is fruit juice really good? White beast is good. Potions always re always appear in combat rewards. Ah. Five max HP. Uh. Uh, toolbox. There's another shop coming up. Yeah, there's another shop here, and potentially more in other question marks. Plenty of shops around. I mean, toolbox is neat. 
And I am gonna get more gold. Let's try that. Toolbox. Cool. I think that might be my first toolbox. Huh? What's this? Oh. You're not gonna tell me that you've never looked for your phone in the whole house or your baby and it's actually in your hand. Everybody's the happy. baby. Everybody's happy. Oh. Gain six block. That's decent. <laughs> Shuffle your discard pile into your draw pile. Yo, thanks for the sub, what don't lie. Shuffle your discard pile to your draw pile, draw a card. Metamorphosis. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna draw yet. These will stay with their cast. Right. Shuffle your discard pile into your draw pile. I think block is best. Oh, we have double impervious. We're quite okay. We have only block in our hand. I didn't cast offering. What's this, chat? Oh, good. Good war cry. But I mean, it could have just been cleave right away. Or is that bastard gonna come back? I could use potion and use whirlwind again. Where's my whirlwind? Oh, cleave. It didn't give you extra max HP. Oh, damn. Oh, what the fuck? Is it 100 max? No, it's because he's not considered dead. Life link, so you can only kill the final uh, third. Damn it! I don't think 100 is max. Yeah, I need to use it on the last. Okay, with potion they die now. It feels like a waste. I'm only gonna take nine damage. But they're they're he is gonna come back. Blood potion. 
Chief, dual wields, carnage. On previous versions, it did used to be 100 max. Really? Violence? Do you guys like violence? Put three random attack cards from your draw pile into your hand. Exhaust. Eh. Doesn't anger work that way? Yeah. It's pretty good for anger, but... 22 card deck. In real life, sure, but in Slate Aspire, not really. I like dramatic entrance, but I'm a noob. <laughs> Innate, deal... <laughs> Deal 12 damage to all enemies. <laughs> it's like the proverbial turn 7 flame strike in Hearthstone against a single opponent, a single creature. Or two creatures, and then they suddenly play four. It's like the noob play. Instantly wake everyone up. Start each elite combat with two strength. It's the beetle. Elites have less health. This is pretty good, Sling of Courage. Enemies in Elite Combat have less health, is pretty good. I can also remove Strike. 150 gold, oh, no. then I have nothing else. You guys, you guys think what? You guys think what? Sorry for the second break in a short time, but my dog wants to go to the toilet. It's only fair, right? Since I went to the toilet too. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, so what's the verdict? Let me see. Start elite combat with two strength. How many elites am I getting? One, two, three, four, five potentially. And I'm gonna have two extra strength during all of it. <laughs> Removal, yeah. Strike or defend? I think strike. Don't I have enough types of attack? Yeah. And then I can't get anything anymore. Add a random attack into your hand and cast zero. I guess Infernal Blade is better than Strike. For the most part. But I guess it's better not to add a random card to the hand. I'll save for other shop. Is there other shop? <laughs> There's not other shop. This is the last shop. Oh mm. What do you mean act for? Oh, Act 4. Is, there is no Act 4, right? We could go double relic here. Ban him. No, no, it's fine. 12 cards, match them to keep them. 5 tries, no do-overs. What if I don't want to get cards? I didn't know. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. I already know. I think I don't want cards. Uh, what do you know of Act 4? I guess I get the key and it's after the final boss. You can even get curses here. Yeah, I saw it before. Let's see, I, I need to use one of the campfires for a key. Final one then. Let's just hope we don't forget. Another shop. Secret weapon, put an attack from your draw pile into your hand, exhaust. You can pick or any. Shova has been doing work, yeah. Is he even trying? Question mark. Yeah, I was deliberately missing them, guys. <laughs> oh, I can't afford it, yeah. 
Whenever you lose HP, you gain block. Can't even remove card. So what do you guys think? Shall we just look through the window longingly? Whenever you exhaust a card, three damage to all. Huh? Oh yeah! Oh, I forgot about this shit. Oh f Why? Oh, you cursed key. Normie is the worst curse. Good luck. Well, I found a way to throw. Whenever you would deal four or less, do five instead. What key? There's another campfire, guys. It's right before the boss. This one seems like the best ever. Imagine doing like two damage and then you do five. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. And we start with it. That's 22 damage. Still not very good. And it's going to be less every next time we draw it. Chrysalis. Shuffle three random skills. Interesting. Enlightenment. Reduce the cost of all cards in your hand to one this turn. Oh. I'll take enlightenment. Oh, come on. I mean, do I do it this turn? Wait, I have whirlwind. Six. Wait, how do I have so much damage? Oh my god, it's pinned in. Five, five, 30, 80. 80 damage on reptile monster. Hey, if we cast enlightenment, can we do infinite damage with whirlwind? Yeah, it's only one mana. It's like X 900. Okay, X 900. No, it's one. No, he's gone mad with power. <laughs> okay. All right, calm down. So normality didn't actually hurt us this turn, this time, this time. I could put uh, normality on top. God, that's a lot of damage. What is this shit hand? Choose a card in your discard pile and return it. Well, that seems about right. Can bring back Impervious or Whirlwind. My strength? Three. His vulnerability? None. 3, 11. 11 times 5. Shockwave. I have shockwave. Yes. That's gonna help. Seeing plus dub dub. Oh, seeing. It's, it's still not enough. I'm thinking I bring back Impervious. But Impervious, it's 30 health. And so is um, Blood Potion. No, that's 20 health. I think we bring back Imper uh, we bring back Rollins. 
it's okay to take a bit of damage. I could have also raged. Now I want feet. He's not attacking. I don't want to end him. Can you actually damage yourself? No, you can't. He's gonna summon? Oh. And feed is very far away. Alright. <laughs> All right, survive till turn seven. I already turned down like three waves, Mac Black. You exhausted feet? Mm, no. I don't. I don't think so. I see we're facing these guys. Put a skill from your draw pile into your hand. What would we be looking for? Gain strength. Draw, draw. We could draw, draw. If you have no attacks in your hand, draw two cards. Yeah, we could get secret technique. Oh, Whirlwind is a nice start. We want spot weakness. Huh? How come? <laughs> so many relics. Why did he take damage? Oh, whenever you exhaust the card. <laughs> okay. get normality yeah oh there's feet okay we need to calculate That might be too much. Eleven fifteen. He has thirty eight. This is twenty six. Oh, we can just put feet back. We could have done it with Sharon's ashes. He did not regain his block. Doofus. Let's ban this guy. He called chat Doofus. Okay. We could go for question mark or uh, horny demon. 104 life. Nice.
Do you like card games on average? Yeah. I have thousands of hours in both Hearthstone and Magic the Gathering, and hundreds of hours, if not thousands, in another game none of you know. Chronix. It came at the advent of the internet, when the internet sounded like this. Yeah, it was like this online game. It was a tradable card game online. I'm gonna go for the... Actually, I have enough relics. Let's go to the question mark. Add one colorless card to your deck. No, I don't want to add shit. Three for sure? No, why? Are colorless generally good? You can skip them still. Really? Always three? Are you guys trolling me? Each one is an optional. You just look for a 10 life, right? Apply to vulnerable. Put a card from your hand to the bottom of your draw pile. It casts zero until played. I wish the STS OTS OST was more chill like FTO. These are a skip. Alright. Remember the key? Yeah, remember the key. Yeah, I know. okay, and I remember the key. Panache? Each? You should try slash look up Balatro. Yeah. It's like Slay the Spire Many people have been telling me about it. It's on the radar. Cool. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal 14 damage to all enemies. A power. I've never had this. Put three random attacks. Yeah, we have three. We have a lot of card draw. Okay, I will take the red key from the last campfire. Thanks. Apotheosis. Oh, hand of greed, guys. I feel like it's a good time to get Apotheosis. But. Yeah, there's actually many unupgraded cards. It's kind of slow. Are any of my really key cards here? No, the damage is already. Panic button. Gain 30 block. You cannot gain block from cards for two turns. I think this could be really bad. I don't have enough knowledge to comfortably use this. I it, I have two... I have two... Um, what's it called? Impervious. I'll go Apotheosis for fun, yeah? Never had it before. Balance must be enforced. Balance. Balance not found. Large object approaching. I am Meow. Elite or easy? I feel like I shouldn't be greedy and go for... Uh... Let me see what elites... fights aren't easy because of the ascension mode. Normal enemies are deadlier. Choose a card. Enemy loses 9 strength this turn. Exhaust. Okay, this guy is actually super easy. We're lucky. Thinking ahead. Draw two cards. Put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. Exhaust. Transmutation. Add X random colorless cards into your hand. They cast zero. Oh, that's great. Wow. You heal at boss with relic. Do I still have that? That feels like two hours ago. I don't think I have that this time. Why did you say that? Oh, wait. Oh, <laughs> this is when I opened the normality. I have this for normality. 
But that's boss combat, not for elites. It's just for bosses. Don't play Apotheosis now, that's unfair. Let's see what happens to Transmutation. I can't even see. Oh, I guess it doesn't exhaust. How did Transmutation get better? Oh, shit. Damn. Wouldn't I want to cast Shockwave? Rage first? Oh, yeah. Can do Rage first. I think I don't need Shockwave. I want to see this one. Secret Technique. Swift Strike. Put a skill from your draw power into your hand. Offering. Maybe we can kill him first turn. Secret technique. Mm. Battle trance. Spot weakness. Mm. Seeing red feels pretty good. Because I got shit to cast, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody's laughing, everybody's happy. Who was your toughest opponent in your Warcraft 3 Prime? Sky and TH. saving it for boss it's fine it's gonna screw us over there i'm glad i didn't see it i'm happy it's great you sound happy <laughs> That's good. That's good because I am. Very happy. Did I just waste the feed? Huh? No, it goes... I want to save it. You might draw normality again. Spot weakness fail? Why? Why did it fail? Oh, he wasn't attacking! <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh wait, I can't draw cards anymore. But I can still play the card. And then I won't draw it. Huh? I just drew a card! I guess look up is not the same. I literally took a shit card because it won't work anyway. Yeah, it's Demonic Tutor, not drawing. I like how you call it Tutor, Mac Black. Magic the Gathering player confirmed. Demonic Tutor. 
Add is not the same as draw. Yeah, and lose is not the same as damage. All right. Good turn to get normality. What happens when he stops counting? Usually I already killed them by this time, but I'm kind of going slowly. Nothing at all. You think not using feed is greedy? All right. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, he's done. Next turn, he's gonna. I actually think I don't know what happens. Can't card draw anymore. looks so unimpressed yeah I know I'm also unimpressed he's still vulnerable 27 times 4 damn it it's close oh penip oh sack Peter you sack Peter Bartimaeus that's it, chat. No, 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 I'm grateful, I'm grateful. Don't, don't, don't. Pet the chat, pet the chat. How do I, how do I pet the chat? Oh, it's in caps. Whenever you enter a shop, cultist potion. Okay, nice. Fire breathing, rupture, no, none of this. Okay. We've got the key. 84 health. At, at the start of your turn, add a random colorless card into your hand. That's fantastic. That's bloody fantastic. Oh, this is the second time I face these guys. I think they take turns attacking. Exhaust up to three cards in your hand. Exhaust. Ah, we have elixir. It's enlightenment or ma magnetism. I'll do magnetism. Purify the curse. I'm gonna elixir the curse. Okay, we gotta think carefully. Think, chat, think. Cute, cute thinking. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, okay, let's just face it, that's probably gonna happen at some point, and it's also zero mana. We're gonna do a rage. We have 10 armor. Might impervious. He's attacking for 20. We would take 
I think we would take 10 damage, but let me check my 27 relics. Ah, oh, they lost one artifact. Yes, I'm raging already. Oh yeah, I'm raging. So I don't need Impervious. I have no other card draw than Battle Trance, so let's Trance. Offering. Could get mana if I needed to. No cards, just mana. Offering is greedy. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying. I know I can't draw, but I can still get mana if I needed to. <laughs> That'd be a bad offering play. Yeah, it'd be kind of like a... Like a sacrifice of part of the card. It would kind of be like an offering. Nunchucks. Every time you play 10 attacks, you gain one. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, offering... No, no, I can't get normality. I can't get cards here too. It's just bash, spot, cleave, magnetism. Minus one. Minus bash. Spot, cleave, magnetism. And then uh, simply a defense. We are inoculated against damage. We're magnetic. Final bash. They have artifact. It's it's a very expensive low damage spell, and I would take damage in return for no reason. There's normality. We can first draw cards to see if. We will draw some wounds. And if we don't, then we put normality on top and then we'll elixir next turn. Unless this is not a turn where I need it. But I do need it. I always need it. I can make them lose three strengths. Vulnerable. Which one is better? I have I have to choose to wipe their uh, artifact with one of them. One of them is going to be a wipe. Let me try to think what's better. I think strength is better, so... Since he's now less scary, we uh, go on this guy. Okay. Apotheosis. There's normality again. I can also exhaust normality via fiend fire. If none of this matters too much, then we don't need to use the potion. No feet though? Yeah, no feet. <laughs> it's like the final boss, not counting whatever happens with the key, right? Apotheosis first. Madness first? How does Madness upgrade? I can't see it. Can you guys tell me? Zero mana. Which is unimportant. 
So if I use... It's unimportant now. But I also don't need to reduce the cost of anything else. So I could just Apotheosis, then Feed, then Fiend Fire. Draw first. Uh, well, Apotheosis first. Then draw. There's a wound. That's a nice one. Now we're going to be hit for 26. But we can't flame barrier now. Because then we don't fiend fire anymore. Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn. A lot of exhaust damage. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, we have blood pot. We could use it now, but we're not dead yet, so we could just wait. Master of strategy. Oh yeah, our our magnetism is starting to work. Cool. Might as well draw it. Anger, cleave, palm strike, seeing red, shockwave. This one still has artifact, and I have no way to remove it. Regardless, I could cast it. Shockwave. Seeing red. Pommel strike. Pommel strike first. Shockwave is going to do a lot of damage. How did I get so much strength? He's gonna be vulnerable, he's not. Pommel strike, five mana to four. Seeing right, red, six mana. Shockwave, four mana. Whirlwind could hit four. Uh, cleave, that's three mana. Seeing right. <laughs> can't calculate it. I love the way you play this game. This is so much fun. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Budilis. Welcome to the stream. We're definitely seeing red, but we want to draw cards first. No, we want a shockwave first. Then we're drawing cards. Double anger. Shrug it off. Whirlwind is not doing much anymore, but we do have Cleave and Shrug it off. We have no armor yet. Ah, we have Seeing Red. Block, Cleave does more damage. Angers do 14 to a single target. Whirlwind is to everyone. I won't get copies in the discard pile, but it's better to cast them twice. Cleave is better. So it's Shrug it off for block. Seeing red for mana. Oh, wait, we have a battle trance. Which could lead to... Offering. Careful normality. Normality has been removed. There's also trip. This first. Then Battle Trance. Offering doesn't work anymore now. We do have Bash. Bash. And then Cleave. It gives mana. Oh yeah, it gives mana. Ooh, and they're both vulnerable. Honestly, I think they're dead. Cleave is better, Whirlwind is then best. Bash is worse. They are vulnerable already. I think we just cleave and whirlwind and see what happens. Nice. Oh! I am once again misequating anger to whirlwind. Nice. I'm once again thinking of 
Whirlwind and Fiendfire in the same card. Anger was free to play all along. Still? Good shit. Wow, what a... Was this turn two? This was turn two. Shovel carried, yeah. And this is the first time we complete the game with the key in our pocket. Who knows what's gonna happen next. I'm done, right? I won. Nice. Let's go Ascension number three. We just won Ascension mode for the first time. Huh? What's going on? What? The final act, the ending. Didn't read? Yeah, I didn't read. Good acting. Thanks. He I w oh, uh, there's another act. Such a, <laughs> such a bad act. <laughs> no weighing. No weighing. What's this? Oh, we can dig again. Or we can upgrade. Upgrade normality. Got some shit guards. We're not going to make them less shit. Battle trance is pretty good. But it's not needed to get more. We dig. We have apotheosis. That's true. Paper frog. Enemies with vulnerable. Oh, very good. Very freaking good. Wow. Haha. Uh -oh. uh -oh. We can actually remove normality. Even though we still have elixir. So when you think about it, right? Elixir can be used for other things. But realistically, there's probably not an Act 5. However, Elixir can only be used once. And uh, I have two, two fights. Who knows if this Elite fight is going to be hard. There is also, whenever you use a potion, heal health. That's not good enough. Whenever you shuffle your draw power game block. That's not good enough. Uh, choose one of three random skill cards. Five dexterity, three vulnerable. None of those are good enough. None of this is good enough, so we're going to remove it. This is totally the final act. Yeah, nice acting, guys. 10 out of 10. As good acting as my surprise was. Very nice acting. This is the final act, and I know it. How much do you know about Act 4? Do you know? I know nothing, just... Okay, I'm going to admit, you guys... You saw all my surprise when the game wasn't over, right? But now I'm going to tell you... I didn't know anything, but I was spoiled to the fact that there would be another boss after the final boss if I have the key. And I kind of asked for it at the start of this latest Spire stream. So I was aware of it and it wasn't chat's fault. Pet the chat, spank the streamer. Yeah, it doesn't know about Act 5. Okay, what's, what the hell is this? They're on both sides. That's funny. Okay. I think that emote only mode actually makes sense. This is this is the first time we're beyond the dark portal. Aside from the Warcraft 2 expansion, of course. Apply to vulnerable. They have artifacts. What is this? Deals 50% more damage as it is attacking you from behind. Oh, I think the last attack I do turns me. It actually says here, but but it doesn't really say here, but I know what it means. That's because I have to pick an item first. Exhaust up to three cards in your hand. Exhaust. Thinking ahead. Draw two cards. Oh, I find thinking ahead very uh, tiring, both with this card and in real life. Prefer to just do day by day. Apply to vulnerable. Draw two cards. Put a card from your hand. Okay, I think we can do this, right? This keeps coming back, though. So we can do this. Oh my god, I shouldn't have done this. Hey, no chatting, demon, or unmod. Don't, don't go breaking the mod rule yourself. Emotes only. <laughs> unmod. Imagine threatening with unmod when I'm super grateful for everything you're doing. I'm not going to dangle it like a privilege when actually it's my privilege, sir. It's a honest entreaty to you. That's all. Earnest, not honest. An earnest entreaty. Let me think, let me think. 
think, let me think, let me think. I have bad war cry and good war cry. Negative effect. Also negative effect. One, two, three, four, eight cards. New music unlock. Enemy loses strength. So what's this? Receive 50% more damage. Use targeted cards or potions to change your orientation. He's doing 18 damage. Would have been 12. 10. 12, 10. He's more vulnerable to reducing strength. Alright. So we can turn our back on uh, that spear. Not something I normally recommend. Still gonna get attacked by 6 damage, 12. 12 and 6 is 18. I have 10 block. I do not need flame barrier and it's a low damage spell. In fact, that level of damage doesn't matter much at all. I will lose out on one card if I offering now. So let's do the war cry. Impervious. Doesn't matter what I put on top. Literally, doesn't matter. Offering now. There's the apotheosis. That's a good one to do early. There's spot weakness. There's our strength. We do a rage now. It's free. Pommel strike draws more cards. I do not need impervious. I do not want to do feed yet. Defend is a maybe. Flame barriers are probably not. Fiend fire, not impossible, especially if I do vulnerability. But I don't have vulnerability. I could have it with pommel, but then I don't have enough for fiend fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could make it eight with thinking ahead. Seven, seventy, ninety-eight. No, hold on. Seven, seventy, seven, fourteen, ninety-eight. No way. YOLO. Oh. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it exhausts everything. So there's gonna be Sharon's ashes. Everything gets exhausted. Cool. And it turns right back to him because there's no one left. Cool. Easy fight, easy fight. Weak and vulnerable. It's gonna attack. And impervious. Roman. Anger. We're quite strong now. Finash. Don't need it. Shrug it off. He is vulnerable. Don't need bash. Battle trance. Anger. Anger. Bash. Easy. Nice. Bottle Tornado. Tornado. Oh, upon pickup, choose a power card. Oh. Yeah, okay. Good. Save your soul. What's this? I purchased this game years ago and never gave it much thought. After watching you play, I have a newfound appreciation and admiration for this game. Now I'm addicted. Thank you and have a good night. <laughs> Well, you're welcome. I also bought this because of you, Demonic. Two years ago, I bought this in a Steam sale because Twitch chat recommended it. It was in my library and I never paid it much thought. I heard the name and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that game other people are hyped about, not me. Again, chat forced me to play it with Sub Sunday. Now I'm addicted. Thank you and have a good night.
final boss. Oh my god, it's the heart itself! <laughs> Might as well take the bomb. 40 is more than 20. But this is free. <laughs> Midas. Add one random colorless card into your hand. It could be shite. Could be really good though. I'll take the bomb. Alright, alright, alright. What you got for me, buddy McHart? Corrupt Heart. Invincible can only lose 300 more HP this turn. Beat of death. Whenever you play a card, take a damage. But I have armor, so that's fine. He's weakened because of my relic. Okay. And at the end of turn 7, we do 52. At the end of turn 3, 40. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna cast a negative effect on me. We open with... So here we'll open with Panache. Uh, the bomb, the feed, the seeing red, the anger, okay. Um, do we not have card draw? Just shrug it off. Seeing red, fiend fire. Lose impervious and feed. Don't think so. Twelve damage. No, I want to keep seeing red. Oh, Ugh. what's that garbage? Two wounds, void. Whenever this card is drawn, lose an ugh. Slime, daze, burn. Damn. He's going to do zero damage 12 times. <laughs> I, I don't know how much it would have been, but it would have been one, two, or three. I'm guessing it would be one is too weak. I think it would have done three. I'm just gonna guess three. Rage. Apotheosis first. Rage. Shockwave, flame barrier. Whenever you're attacked this turn, I could do 70, 80, 84 damage. That's better than vulnerable. Nice. That's a beating heart I like to see. His heart is taking a beating. War cry. Wound taste. War cry. Oh, Battletrons, wow. Offspring first. He intends to attack with 55 damage. We need Impervious. Do we only have one? I thought we had two. One. Is there one in my hand? There's one in my hand. But I'm weakened. He is still vulnerable. He's not vulnerable. So I could bash him first. What am I looking for? Wo Void is going to cast me an energy. Battle Trance is likely going to draw it. I can use Elixir to remove Slime, but I really want to remove Void as well. Though Ethereal already did its damage once drawn 
could be nice to include the wound. Bash, spot weakness. Spot weakness first. I probably have enough mana to do everything I want. I'm not gonna give up on the chance to spot weakness. Doesn't matter if I impervious first or not, since I'm gonna take that much damage anyway. I might get... I'm not getting any new cards. Just what is coming up. Hmm. He can take 222 more damage. None of these cards materially change how I'm going to be playing this. So I think we open with Bash. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cards. We need to cast Bash, Impervious, and then tr draw. Okay, now we drink this and remove all this wrap. Uh, except, yeah, yeah. Cleave is more damage. Defend is keep myself alive. I am weakened though. And he is vulnerable. 19 damage feels a lot better than 6 block. Oops. Well. The reason I did that. Though I just took 1 damage from Beat of Death is, of course, to trigger my Nunchaku and Pennip. <laughs> As you guys should understand when you think about it. Yeah, Kunai. We got Dexterity from it, right? Helps a lot. He's gonna cast buff. I guess he wants to put uh, trash in my deck again. Give me a UTI in my deck. And an uninterrupted torrent of inimities. Rage first. So, Battle Trance. Now is a good time to heal. We have Fiend Fire. We cannot draw cards anymore, despite the Pommel Strike. We can take 3 on the damage. He is vulnerable. We can make him more vulnerable. Pommel Strike, Anger. Fiendfire can get rid of the wounds. I would lose my Impervious, which is a pity. Crash him for sure. Anger. Pommel Strike. I really don't want to lose my Impervious. Oh, I had Pen Nip, yeah. I guess I didn't do that in the right order. Did I chat? Do I have enough block? It's not, it's not good enough. I want to keep the block. I don't want to keep the fiend fire. What did he do? Two artifact? But he is still vulnerable, luckily. He's gonna attack for 42. Spot. Shrug it off. Ah. At least they're both gone. We're gonna take some real damage. That's crazy, dude. Next up, 
4 by 12 Looks like he lost the strength debuff as well. He's been gaining strength. He's gonna do 48 damage. I'll be one life. I may not have paid attention to when I had bonus mana from uh, Nunchaku. The bomb again? I don't have card draw. Oh no. I don't... All my juicy card draw offerings are gone. Where's my second offering? There's one. It's not in my hand. It's not in my... Anger, Anger, Battle Drowns, Bash, Fiend Fire. I don't see it here. Or here. How is it possible? Don't I have two? One. I see. I only have one. <laughs> really? When do I draw a card? Every how many? I feel like I'm gonna lose. Maximum block. Ouch. Hey, how, how does the bomb... Oh, yeah. Impervious. Okay, he's gonna cast spell. Fiend fire. 36 damage. Times 4. 72. That's a lot. I'm not gonna calculate it, I just think... Typing on keyboard helps me think. 144. But I need my impervious next time. Somebody set to pass the bomb for sure. Anger. It's not enough. 70 damage. But maybe it's exactly what I need. That impervious is not coming back on time. Anyway. And now I'm gonna draw all angers. But I might... And he's got to thicken my deck maybe with buffs and whatnot. I do have two bombs. That's a hundred damage. I feel like I should do it. Impervious won't be back on time. Thirty-three times five. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Top decked and wrecked, baby! Psh. All right, crazy first try. Oh, very well done, dude. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Lucky! First heart win. You had Calendar there for 52 damage. Yeah, I, I was wondering where that damage came in from. I, I saw a bomb in two turns, and I saw a bomb in three turns, and then suddenly it did 52. I was like, uh, must have been some kind of amplified bomb. Oh my god.
This is the real victory. Iron Chad. Re Rowan really is much better than Cleave, yup. Ruby Plus completed the ending. I just got a new achievement. We just slew the Spire. Ironclad beta card art unlocked. What? Score 1306. Floors climbed, enemy slammed, exordium elites, city elites, beyond elites. Well fed. <laughs> Champion defeat an elite without taking damage once. Ascension, 5% score per ascension level. Uh, boss is slain, 4. Heartbreaker, defeat the heart. That's nice. Hmm. So how could I have done better? More HP. Take less damage. And all kinds of achievements I don't know about. Nice. Previous boss, you used to plan a head card to give yourself a card on the next turn. You gave yourself wound, unplayable card, which was obviously unwise. No, but I thought I was drawing it. Having a bigger deck gives a score. Oh, wow. Now what? Has it been done? Any chance there will be FTL right now? Dude, that will be really fun, but I would like to start another run. <laughs> the spire sleeps. And so shall I. So shall I. No, so shall I not. Oh, elites are deadlier. Mmm. 